hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this subscribe animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and project files are available in the description so if you want to use this for your videos it's absolutely free so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new and composition. Let's call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration we don't want much more longer duration. And background color, I'm going to choose white color and simply hit OK and hit OK. Then choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection. Now I'm going to choose my rounded rectangle tool so simply click on it we don't want any stroke so i'll delete the stroke and we want fill but not with the white color a little bit gray color like that and hit ok and let's create one rectangle like this then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now select this shape and go to the rectangle go to the rectangle path one let's unlink this and i'm gonna increase the size like this if you want then you can increase the roundness also i'll choose roundness 50. now select this shape hit ctrl d to duplicate it uh, from here i am going to choose the red color let's go inside this contains rectangle one rectangle path one and let's decrease the size from here and decrease the size from here also like that then go to the fill and I'm going to choose red color and hit OK, hit OK. Now, as you can see, our button is almost done. Now, there is another thing we need to do. We need to create one mouse pointer. So for that, what we can do, we can create this with the help of pen tool also. So let's press Ctrl K on your keyboard to open the project settings. And let's select black color for now and hit OK. And zoom in a little bit over here and let's choose white color for this one and let's create one rectangle like this not rectangle solid triangle sorry by mistake now i am going to select the same same layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this paint tool and from here to here to here to here I am going to create the same shape like that on the same layer not on the different layer like this if you want then you can move this over here also now select this layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press r for rotation or you can simply choose w to select your rotation tool and you can rotate it like that press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size press v and let's move this over here like this yep now i'm going to select this both the layers in search bar i'm going to type roundness so i'll get this and let's decrease the roundness to 30 for both of them i think this looks good now we will add our text so i'll choose my text for the font i am going to choose poppins font obviously you are free to choose any font you want i am going to choose white color and let's type our text subscribe select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v and let's adjust it over here like this yep now first thing we need to do um, select all of them press s and make sure their sizes are like that now create one keyframe at the start go to around 20 frames and let's increase the size of each and every one go after that and let's decrease the size like this now go to the start and let's make them zero so if you see we will get this kind of animation for all of them now select this last keyframe and let's move this a little bit over here now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here select this 
and by holding shift let's move the sandal over here select this and let's move this over here select this sandal and let's move this over here so if you see we will get this kind of pop-up animation now select all the keyframes by holding alt i am going to move this up to 20 frames so we will get this kind of pop-up animation now hit page down button two times select this shape layer and move this over here again hit page down button two times select this and move this over here or you can move the subscribe over here hit page down button and select this mouse pointer and let's bring this at the top and let's move this over here so if you see this we will get something like this now i am going to select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's bring this downwards hit u and make sure that you are after those keyframes and let's delete those keyframes like that and now from this point i am going to create one keyframe over here and let's delete this fill for this one and for the stroke width i mean stroke color i am going to choose this red color hit ok and stroke width i am going to choose 10 now select the scale in search bar i am going to type s t r o k e so it will automatically give me the stroke width option over here and create one keyframe now select this layer hit u go few frame forwards and let's increase the size of it like this or let's hit ctrl z go to the start select this scale and delete it we don't need to animate the scale property but we will go inside this rectangle rectangle path one and we will create one keyframe at the scale like this and make sure to unlink this chain and now we will hit u and now we will go few frame forwards and we will increase the scale like this now uncheck this and let's increase the scale from here also so if you see we will get something like this now at this point i want stroke should be zero so if you see this we will get this kind of pop-up now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move this handles over here so let's see what we'll get like this now go to the 20 frames i'm going to select this one by holding alt open bracket we will trim this like that so if you see this animation we will get something like this select those keyframes go to the graph editor again we need to select this graph also and let's move this handles somewhere around like this if you see we'll get something like this now select this what we call this arrow mouse pointer press p for position create one keyframe go few frame forwards let's move this over here like that select those keyframes and hit f9 and let's see now go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here now at this point press s create one keyframe go few frame forwards let's decrease this scale go few frame forward let's make this select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v so we will get this kind of animation select those keyframes and hit f9 like that now select this subscribe button our text press s create one keyframe go few frame forwards again create another keyframe and in middle of it we will decrease the size of it similarly we will follow for this red one press s create one keyframe go few frame forwards create another keyframe at the start and in the middle of it we will decrease the size so we will get something like this now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit and let's see what we can do over here we will select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here and this handle over here like that So if you run this animation from the start, we will get something like this. Now at this point, I'm going to select this red, uh, what we call rectangle and press Ctrl Shift D to duplicate it, not duplicate it, but the to create this cut. And in this fill, I'm going to choose grayish color like this. So if you see this, we will get something like this. 
and hit N. So as you can see with the help of that you can create this kind of animation and if you want then you can change the color of this text also. At this point press Ctrl Shift D to cut this out and you can change the color of this text to any color you want like a grayish color or something like this. Hit U again. If you hit U, you can see all the keyframes. You can select those keyframes. You can go to the graph editor. And if you want, then you can select those keyframes again. Hit F9 to readjust this graph. And now, what if you want, then you can select this by holding Shift. Move this handle over here and this handle over here. If you do that, we will get different kind of pop up like this. now press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one bg i'm going to choose white color hit ok and hit ok and simply drag it down let's lock this so we'll get something like this yep we'll select this mouse pointer we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for drop shadow effect increase the distance to 20 increase the softness to 100 like this now uh, let's change the opacity to 20 select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v like this now we will select this this shape layer right click go to the layer styles bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss and increase the size of it like this and instead of black color i am going to choose something like this color select this layer style again hit ctrl c to copy select this another layers and hit ctrl v like this select this rectangle uh, what we call rectangle go to the layer styles go to the bevel emboss and instead of red we can choose the grayish color like that yep let's go forward we will select this layer hit ctrl v again go to the layer styles bevel emboss and choose grayish color like this hit ok increase the softness or if you want then you can increase the task distance like that yep let's select this text and we should make this white color only because that looks good so with the help of this kind of animation you can create the subscribe animation now you can select this all layers and press ctrl shift c and you can call it as animation hit ok press s and you can adjust it whatever or whenever you want like at the edge of your video over here here and wherever you want so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next lecture So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.